Uh, okay, so good afternoon, Sirium. So let's start the discussion na. <clears throat> okay, so based on the module that I already gave to you on the Google Classroom, it states there that the first topic that we will be discussing for today is about the function. And I'm going to discuss what are the basic concepts in function. Okay, so if we still have a time, teacher will discuss also how we're going to use the vertical line test. Okay, let me remind you that this session is recorded. So lahat po ng sasabihin po ninyo is naka-record po. So again, uh, please follow my rules uh, during my session. Uh, please no foul or vulgar words na sasabihin po dito or itatype, okay? So let's start the discussion. So we will be discussing about the functions, <clears throat> okay? Specifically, uh, what is the concept? Ano ba yung mga may encounter ninyo dito po sa functions po? Okay, but before that, uh, meron po muna tayong konting warm-up po na connected naman po sa topic po natin. Okay, so this warm-up called sub me in. Okay, so teacher will give you a set of letters that has an indicated number to each uh, letters po. Okay, for example, uh, letter A is equal to 1. Yung B po is equal to 2, and so on and so forth. Hanggang letter Z po. Okay? So, teacher will give you a word, and then titignan nyo lang po dyan kung ano po yung corresponding number po kada letter po sa word na yun. And all we have to do is to sum up all the numbers indicated po dun sa word, and then that will be the final answer. <clears throat> so, mag add lang po tayo dito. Okay. For example, teacher gave you a word love. Okay, hahanapin nyo ngayon dyan sa box si letter L, that is 12. Sa O po is 15, V is 22, and then E is 5. So all you have to do is to add all the numbers, and then the answer is 54. So ganun lang po kadali po yung gagawin po natin. Okay, so let's start na. So the first word is knowledge. So what will be the sum? of the word knowledge. Okay, so if you want to answer, you can open your microphone. If you don't want to, uh, just type your answer on the chat box. 96. Okay, Angela, your answer is 96? Okay. Yes, sir. So, check natin yung iba. So, may sagot na si Mi Angela and the answer daw is 96. Sir, 91. Okay. Si Deseric, it's 91. 96. Uh, Rizal also answered 96. 89. Okay. Batalyones. 89. Okay, so let's see what will be the answer for this word. Okay, so the knowledge is equal to 96. <clears throat> okay, so double check nyo mga anak yung mga numbers po na isa-substitute po natin on the indicated na, uh, letters para at least po once na nag-add po tayo, tama po. Okay, so si Ate Kanina, I don't remember the name. Si me, me Angela get the correct answer, which is 96. So another word po, hard work. Sir? Yes, Liesel. 98. Okay. Yes, sir. 98. Okay. okay. So, okay, okay, very good. Let's see. Let's see. Kung tama po yung line okay, so the word hard work has a sum of <clears throat> 98. 
So, all of you get the correct answer naman. Okay? Sir, para saan po yung ginawa natin kanina? Okay, on function po kasi, uh, involved po dito yung substitution po. Okay, if you're already familiar with substitution, it's very easy for you to understand what is the function is. Okay? So, without further ado, let's start the discussion na. So, this is about function versus relations. Okay? So, ano po ba yung function? Ano po ba yung relation? So, pag sinabi natin relation, this is the relationship ng dalawa pong set of information. Okay? So, we have two sets, that is the X and the Y. So, aalamin lang po natin kung ano po ba yung relasyon nilang dalawa sa isa't isa. Okay? And kapag sinabi naman natin function, this is also a binary relation between the two sets then. Okay, yun nga lang, each element on the first set should have an exactly one element on the second set. Okay? Ulitin ko, kapag sinabi natin function, kailangan po yung isang element po on the first set, kailangan yung corresponding element po niya sa kabila is exactly one value. Okay? The two sets called the domain and range. Okay? Si domain po, kahit ilan po yan, basta po yung corresponding po niya na value on the other side, which is the range, is kailangan po isa lang. Okay? Function po kasi is para siyang machine na kung saan once we input data, may lalabas pong output. And that output is related doon sa input po. Kaya po kailangan po in each domain, meron lang po one particular value on the range. So, we usually represent the function by this equation. So, pwedeng y or f of x. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so, wag po tayong malilito kung minsan isusulat ni teacher na equation is y, tas minsan naman f of x. Uh, lagi lang po tatandaan na si y po tsaka si f of x is just the same. Okay? So, yun po ibig sabihin po ni function tsaka ni relation. Now, ano pa ba? Okay, si y po, tinatawag po natin yung dependent variable. Okay, si x naman po is the independent variable. Okay, yung independent variable po o yung x po natin, siya po yung tinatawag din nating domain of the function. Okay, so wag tayo madilito dun sa tatlong word, domain, independent, tsaka yung x. Okay, so yan silang tatlo, pareho lang po yan. Okay, and of course, for the, in the, uh, for the dependent variable naman po, ang tawag naman po sa kanya is the range of the function. And that is also the y. Okay, so lagi po nating tatandaan that every input po is there's only unique. Okay, there's only one corresponding output po. So, isang input, isang output lang. <clears throat> Or maybe dalawang input, isang output lang. Ang mahalaga po is iisa lang po ang output po kada element sa domain. Okay? So, para po mas malino po, or para mas makita po ninyo ng maayos, so, explain na rin ni teacher sa inyo yung relation. Okay? So, sa relation po, meron po tayong apat na types. So, the first type of the relation is the one-to-one -one correspondence. Okay? So, one-to-one. -one. Tandaan ha? So, ito yung unang-unang types ng relation. One-to-one. -one. We also have one-to-many correspondence. We have many-to-one correspondence. And the last type of the relations is many-to-many -many correspondence. So, iisa-isa hini teacher yan kung ano po ba yung itsura po ng bawat correspondence na yan. And Sasabihin na rin ni teacher kung paano natin malalaman kung si relation ba is a function. Okay, kailan, kailan natin masasabi na ang relation is function, kailan natin masasabi na ang relation is hindi function. Okay? So, for example here, <clears throat> ayan. So, we will be determining if this data set or this set of data is representing a function. 
Okay? Sir, paano namin yan gagawin? Or paano namin malalaman yan kung eto bang data na to o yung set po na binigay po ni teacher is a function? So for me, uh, mas maganda siya na ititable pa po muna natin. Okay, kukuhain natin lahat ng domain, kukuhain natin lahat ng range. Okay? Uh, kung makipapansin ninyo, dito po, so nilista po ni teacher lahat po ng domain na matatagpuan po dito sa dataset. Okay? So lahat din ng range po, nilista rin po ni teacher dito po sa kabilang side. Okay. Ang next naman pong gagawin natin dyan, once po na na-indicate na natin kung nasan si domain dyan, nasan si range, hahanapin natin yung mga corresponding nila. Okay? For example, sa domain, si letter A, ano ba yung corresponding range niya? So, si A po is corresponds with x squared. Si square root ng y correspond with 1 over z. Si 13 po is for 2d. And then, si q po is st. So, kung mapapansin ninyo dyan, uh, children, um, isang domain, isang range. Okay? And by that, masasabi po natin na ito pong example na ito is a one-to-one -one correspondence. Okay? Sir, paano mo nasabing one-to-one -one correspondence yan? Gaya nga nang sinabi ko sa inyo kanina, kada isang domain, meron lang siyang particularly one range. Eh sir, kung one-to-one -one yan, function po ba yan o hindi? Kasi yun po yung pinakatanong dito sa question na to. Now, sabi kanina sa definition ni function na dapat daw po for each element on your domain, there is only one or exactly one element sa range. So, since tag-iisa lang naman yan sila, wala naman pong iba na I mean sa isang domain, dalawang range, wala naman pong ganong scenario. Therefore, a one-to-one -one correspondence is also a function. Okay? Tandaan po natin na si one-to-one -one po is also a function. Another example. So let's determine naman daw that this set of data, Philippines, Manila, Indonesia, Jakarta, Thailand, Bangkok, Indonesia, Bali, can represent a function. Okay? So, Para mas ma-visualize natin, lagi nyo dapat tong gawin. Pero kung kaya nyo naman na siyang uh, sagutan sa isang tingin lang, kung ganito po yung ibibigay sa inyong set, much better. Pero kung nalilito pa po tayo, don't worry, pwede po tayo mag-arrange po ng domain and then ng range. Okay? Kung mapapansin ninyo, apat po yung given or apat yung data set po. Pero ang nakalagay lang sa domain is tatlo. Sir, bakit ganon? Okay? Si Indonesia po kasi is na ulit lang. So kapag may ganun po kayong scenario na may encounter, parang na ulit lang po yung word, na ulit lang po yung number, you're going to write it as one. Okay? Para hindi na rin po redundancy dun sa gagawin nyo pong table. So si Philippines po, so isa lang naman siya, so, si Indonesia, I write it as 1 kahit po na ulit po siya ng, uh, sa set po natin. And then si Thailand po. Now, dito naman sa range, since wala naman pong na ulit, so sinulat ko po siya lahat. So we, so, we have here, so, we have here Manila, Jakarta, Bangkok, and Bali. Okay, so lahat yan, sinulat ko po dito sa range. Now, Para malaman natin kung ano po yung correspondence na gagamitin po natin and para po malaman natin if it can represent a function, okay, pagtatapat-tapatin po natin sila. Ibig sabihin, yung mga magkakakorespond, pagtatapat-tapatin po natin. Like Philippines to Manila, the Indonesia to Jakarta, Thailand to Bangkok, and then Indonesia to Bali. Okay, kung mapapansin ninyo, since si Indonesia, dalawang beses siya na mention dun sa data set, ibig sabihin, dalawa rin po yung range niya. So, isang domain, which is the Indonesia, pero dalawa po yung range, which is the Bangkok and the Bali. So, 
ano correspondence naman kaya ito? <clears throat> Since isa lang yung domain, tapos dalawa yung range, ang correspondence po neto is one to many. Okay? So one to many siya kasi isa pong domain, tapos dalawa yung range niya. Ngayon, function po ba to sir or hindi? So, hindi siya masasabing function. Kasi po, ang range po niya is more than one. And it should be exactly one lang para masabing function. Pero since dalawa siya, one to many is not a function. So, this example is a one to many correspondence, but this is not a function. Okay? Ulitin natin ha. So, one to one, that is a function. One to many, not function. Another one. So determine if the f of x is equal to 3x squared represents a data or a function. Sorry. Okay? So unang gagawin natin dyan is magbibigay dapat tayo ng value ng x. Okay. So, 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 value so naman po ng x kahit ano yan. po yan. Okay, so, okay. so it's up to you or it's up to the given kung ano po yung ilalagay po ang value ng x. x. Now, now, kapag, kapag po ba po si x po natin is negative 2, ano kaya po ang magiging f of x natin or what will be the results or what will be the y on this table? <clears throat> oh, sige. Anyone who, who can answer me? Sir? Yes? Positive sir, both. Uh, Joffrey, again, it's positive. Positive sir, both. Okay. So, very good, Joffrey. So, once we substitute the value of x, which is negative 2, dito po sa equation po natin, the value of f of x or the value of y will be 12. <clears throat> okay? So... Nag-gets po ba yun ang lahat? Or kailangan i-explain po ni teacher how do we get positive 12? Okay. So, ang nangyari po kasi, this is the equation itself. So, f of x, sorry, hold on. So, meron tayong given na f of x is equal to 3x squared. Now, isa substitute natin si negative 2 dito po sa x po natin. So, magiging 3 times negative 2. Then, don't forget the exponent 2. Then, do the PEMDAS rule. So, unahin natin si exponent, which is negative 2 squared, will become positive 4. Okay? Kasi every negative po, na i-squared po natin, ang result po niyan lagi is positive. So, magiging positive 4. And that will be, be the, uh, that will be the time na i-multiply natin si 4 kay 3. Kaya po, 3 times 4 is equal to 12. So, the value of f of x, once we substitute the x as negative 2, ang answer po is positive 12. So, ganun lang po siya. Okay? Lagi lang po natin susundan po yung PEMDAS rule po. How about if the x is negative 1? What will be the value of f of x? Positive 3 po, sir. Okay, very good. So that will be positive 3. Okay, same process ng ginawa po natin kanina. All we have to do is to substitute the negative 1 sa x. So that will be negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. Then times 3 Kaya po, positive 3. Okay? So, ka, paano naman kapag 1? Positive 3. Ayan, very good. So, also, it is positive 3. And of course, kapag 2, ang answer is? Positive Okay. <clears throat> that is also positive 12. So, ganun lang po yung gagawin natin. Kapag po magsasubstitute tayo. Ang tanong, what kind or what type of relation is this? One is to one po ba, sir? 
one is to one. So, ang sabi po ni Honey Lynn is one is to one. So, check natin ha. Meron pa bang ibang guest kung ano pong correspondence kaya ito or what kind of what or what type of relation is this? Sir? Yes, Christian? Uh, sorry again, Christian. I didn't hear you. It's one. Many to one po. Many to one. Okay. Meron pa po bang gusto mag... Okay, Rizel, Rizel said it's one is to one. Sino pa po? Ah, uh, yes, yes, Joffrey. One to many po. One to many. Okay, so let's check mga anak kung ano po bang type ng relation ito. So, ang gawin natin is gawa tayo ng table which is the domain and the range. So, meron tayong negative two, negative one, one, and then positive two. So, sa range naman, since naulit si 12 at naulit si 3, isang beses lang po natin sila isusulat. So, we have 12 and we have 3. So, pagtapatin na natin kung ano yung mga corresponding nila. So, si negative 2 at siya kasi positive 2, that is positive 12. And then negative 1 and then positive 1, that is for positive 3. So, as you can see, mga anak, uh, dalawang domain, I mean two value sa domain, tapos isa lang po yung value niya sa range. Okay, ganun din po kay negative 1, tsaka kay positive 1. Okay, since dalawa yung domain natin, isa lang yung range natin, this example is a many to one correspondence. Next question, is many to one a function? Yes or no? No. No, okay. No po. No. Okay, may nagsabi ng yes, narinig ko. Okay, many... Uh, yes? Ano po answer? Okay, so this example anak, the many to one correspondence, this is a function. Okay. Sir, bakit naging function ay may many? Ang sabi lang po sa definition ni function, in every, uh, on each element ng domain, kailangan isa lang daw yung range. Eh, ganun naman po yung example. Si negative 2 kay 12. Si 2 kay 12. Isang domain, isang range. Therefore, it's a many to one correspondence and many to one is a function. Okay? Kasi isa lang naman po yung corresponding range kahit po dalawa yung domain natin. Okay? Okay lang po yun. As long na one lang po yung range, we can call it a function. Okay? So, review. One to one, that is a function. One to many, not a function. Many to one, function. How about this one? So, if we're going to determine the f of x is equal to the square root of x, kung makakapag-represent daw po ba to ng function. So, for example, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, pero it's continuous, okay? And this will be the uh, the range, the 2, 1, 2, 4, 7. It will be resulting on many to many. Okay? And many to many, mga anak, this is not a function. Kasi po, yung range po niya, naka-mention po, many. So, kapag puro many po yung nandito, ibig sabihin, it's not a function. Kapag one lang po, it's a function. Okay? So, sir, sino sa apat na yon yung function? Sino sa apat na yon yung hindi function? So, ang function lang po sa relations is the one to one and then many to one. Tapos, not function na po yung one to many and then yung many to many. Yun lang yung lagi yung tatandaan mga anak. Okay, that is the easiest way for us to determine if the given is a function or not. Okay? Oh, so let's try. Okay? Uh, before we try it, uh, meron po ba kayong tanong doon po sa types po ng relations? 
<clears throat> Wala naman. Okay, so since you don't have any question regarding on the types of the relations, so let's try a few exercises. Okay, madali lang naman to. All you have to do is to determine if the following sets of ordered pairs is a function. Okay, syempre, bago natin masabi yung function, we need to tell first what types of relation is it. Okay, so let's start with letter A. So given the ordered pairs, uh, letter A, is this a function or not? Not po. Ash function po, sir. Ashley said not. Rizal said function. So let's see kung ano ang answer. So this is a function. Okay. Rizal, since you answered me function, what types of relations is this? Sir? Yes, Joffrey. Sir? One-to-one -one correspondence po. One-to-one -one correspondence. How about Deseret? Am I correct same how to sir. pronounce? Yes, sir. Okay. Same what lang din naman. Ah. <clears throat> okay, anak, may narinig akong one is to one. Ah, hindi siya is to. So, one-to-one -one lang siya. Pag sinabi natin kasi is to anak, uh, that will be resulting on a ratio. Then kapag sinabi nating ratio, that will be fraction. So hindi naman tayo nagde-divide dito. Kaya let's avoid to use is to, to lang. One to one. Okay, ganun lang. Okay, so this function or this letter A is the function and this is also a one to one correspondence. Okay, so magaling, magaling. How about this one? Okay, how about letter B? So, what will be uh, your answer? Is it a function or not? Function to school. Okay. So, this function. is a function. And then, what types of relations? One to one po. Very one, good. One, one. to one also po. Very good. So, this is a function. At the same time, this is a one to one correspondence. Okay, mahusay. How about letter C? Not function po, sir. Wow, ang bilis. So this is not a function and tell me kung paano siya hindi naging function. Sir? Yes, Joffrey. May may yung range niya po, dalawa. One to many po yung correspondence. Okay, one to many yung correspondence, sabi ni Joffrey. May narinig ako nagsabing many to many. Sino yun? Many to one po. Oh, oh, si Rizal muna. Many, many to one daw. Oh, paano naman Rizal naging many to one? Sir, kasi po yung dalawa po yung zero sa domain. Tapos po yung, yung, ano po, yung range po is zero, positive one, zero, saka negative one po. Wala pong kaparehas po yung range. Bali, kaya po siya naging many to one. Okay. Sige. Si Joffrey sabi one to many. Am I correct, Joffrey? <laughs> okay. Okay. okay lang. Uh, Nire-refresh ko lang. Si Joffrey sabi one to many. Si Rizal, many to one. May narinig ako kanina nag many to many? Uh, yes, Desiree. Uh, Desiree. Uh, can you kindly kind of explain to us kung bakit mo nasabing many to many? Uh, kasi siya yung domain niya, tatlo. Tapos yung yung major dalawa. Okay. Okay, so meron tayong tatlong answer na i-check natin kung ano po doon yung tama. Okay, so teacher will elaborate or teacher will be putting it on a table. So sa domain po, once po na naulit siya, isang beses lang po natin siya isusulat. Okay, so si 1 po is isang beses lang na, na banggit. Si 0, dalawang beses. So we will write it as 1. Tapos si negative 1. So meron tayong tatlong domain. Okay? Sa range naman, we have 0. Naulit siya ng dalawang beses. So 0, isa lang siya. We have positive 1 and then negative 1. 
Now, pagtapatin natin para mas makita po natin yung pagkakaiba po nila. So, si positive 1 kay 0. Yan. Si 0 kay, uh, kay positive 1. Si negative 1 kay 0. Si 0 kay negative 1. Kung mapapansin ninyo mga anak, si 0, dalawa yung range na sakop. Okay? So that is 1 and then negative 1. Dito naman sa range na 0, dalawa yung sakop niya or dalawa yung corresponding domain, which is 1 and then negative 1. So this example, you are correct that this is not a function, but the correspondence is many to many correspondence. Okay? So, hindi siya one to many kasi dito sa uh, dito po sa domain, yung dalawang set, uh, dalawang element natin, which is 1 and negative 1, nakakonect pa kay 0, which is, this is already many to 1. So, hindi natin siya matatawag na one to many. Hindi rin natin siya matatawag na many to 1 kasi po, si 0 naman, yung corresponding set naman po niya sa kabila is 1 and negative 1. So, the best uh, relations na pwede natin sabihin dito or i, uh, ano natin dito sa letter C is many to many. Okay? So, this is not a function. At the same time, this is a many to many correspondence. Okay. Next one. Letter D. Is this a function or not? No, function to search. Function, not function. Okay, so let's see if letter D is a function or not. So this is a function. Sino po makakapagsabi sa akin bakit or what type of relation yung example letter D? Okay, it's many to one. So, that is correct. So, letter D is the function kasi po it is many to one. So, pakita natin. So, sa letter D, meron tayong apat or limang domain, which is negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, tsaka 2. Tapos sa range natin, si 4 na ulit. So, sulat na natin siya ng isa. So, we have 4. Si 1 na ulit din, sulat natin ng isa, and then si 0. Okay, pagtapatin natin. <clears throat> so, si negative 2, tsaka si positive 2, kay 4. Si negative 1, tsaka si positive 1, kay positive 1. And then si 0, kay 0. So, kung mapapansin po natin po dito sa given po natin, so, dalawang domain po, which is negative 2 at positive 2, isa lang po yung corresponding range, which is 4. Ganon din po kay negative 1 at kay positive 1, dalawang domain, then isang range lang po yung corresponding nila, which is positive 1. Therefore, this letter D is a function and this is a many to one correspondence. Okay? So, malinaw po ba sa inyo kung ano po yung types ng na types ng relation na malinaw po sir okay so malinaw naman na po <clears throat> so let's have the conclusion about the function and then the relation ulitin lang ni teacher na hindi po lahat ng relation function sir alin lang ulit doon sa relation yung matatawag natin na function that is the one to one correspondence and then the many to one correspondence. Aside from that, hindi na po sila function. Pero lahat ng function is a relation. Okay? So, not every relation is a function, but every function is a relation. So, yan po yung conclusion and definition for the function versus relations. And always, the definition, take down notes. Lagi ito ha, laging tatandaan na kapag sinabi nating function, kailangan si element kay x 
is exactly one element lang po kay y. Or it corresponds at exactly one element kay y. So, lagi niyong tandaan yan, ha? Kahit madami po kay domi, basta iisa lang po yung range nilang corresponding, that is still a function. Pero kapag marami na pong range, that is not a function po. So, yan po yung function versus relation. Okay? Maliwanag? Okay. Now, vertical line test. Okay? Sir, para sa naman yung vertical line test na yan? So, vertical line test is ginagamit po natin yan kapag po ang given is graph. And ipapadetermine po sa atin if the graph is a function or not. Okay? So, pag sinabi kasi nating vertical line test, this is the set of points in the X and Y plane or on the Cartesian plane that the graph, uh, graph of a function, if and only if, a vertical line intersects sa graph ng isang point lang. At most, one point. So, kapag nag-drawing daw tayo ng vertical line dun sa graph natin, kailangan po mag intersect si graph mag intersect si vertical line sa iisang point lang. So kapag hindi sila, or kapag nag-intersect sila on more than one, automatically po, uh, the graph is not a function. Okay? So, ito po yung mga example na graph. Ipapakita ko po sa inyo. And nandito na rin po identification if this is a function or not. So, tignan nyo po itong nasa taas. Ayan. So, this graph is a quadratic function, a parabola that opens upward. So, ito po yung vertical line, yung color orange. Okay? Kahit saan po, pwede po kayo dyan maglagay. Okay? Kung itetest nyo lang naman po, ha, yung graph. So, you can write a vertical line here, 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 pero isa lang po, ha. So, ayan. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, kahit saan kayo maglagay, Magmimit lang po si vertical tsaka si graph sa iisang point. Therefore, pag ganito po yung itsura or kapag ganito po yung scenario ninyo, this is a function. Okay? Next graph. So, itong pangalawa naman. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, it looks like a normal distribution curve that the thickness was on the middle. So, nagdrawing po si teacher ng vertical line. So, kahit saan ako mag-drawing, oh, dyan mag-drawing, 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 sa iisang point pa din po sila mag -mimia. So, this graph is also a function. Now, dito naman, uh, it looks like a protector, a semicircle graph. So, kahit saan din ako dyan maglagay ng vertical line, still, sa iisang point pa din po sila mag -mimia. Therefore, this is a function. So, ito pong tatlong nasa taas na ito is an example of a graph and this is an example of a function. Okay? Dito naman po sa baba. <clears throat> so, isang buong circle. So, naglagay si teacher ng vertical line. Okay, dito naglagay, naglagay, naglagay. So, kung mapapansin po ninyo, dito sa quadrant 1, sa quadrant 4, nag-intersect yung vertical line tsaka yung graph. So, more than one na po yung points na pinag-intersect nila. So, pag gano'n na po yung scenario, ibig sabihin po nun, yung graph po, hindi na po siya function. Okay? So, this circle graph is not a function. Okay? Dito naman sa kabila. Yan. So, para lang siya yung unang graph, yun nga lang nakatagilid na siya, going to the right, the opening is on the right. So, ganun pa rin yung gagawin ninyo pag sinabi natin yung vertical line test. So, lagay ka lang ng vertical line. Mm. So, i-observe mo lang kung ilang points sila mag -mimit. So, dito naman, dalawa din. So, kapag dalawa din, this is not a function also. Okay? So, ganyan po natin magagamit si vertical line test po. Okay? Si types of relation naman, magagamit natin siya kapag po ang given is puro equation or else puro ordered pairs. So, by the use of the types of relations, 
malalaman po natin kung function o hindi. Pero kapag graft ang given, ito po ang gagamitin natin, which is the vertical line test. Para mas mabilis po natin malalaman kung yung graph po ba na ginawa po natin is a function or not. So, yun po yung dalawa way para malaman po natin kung function o hindi. So, hindi ko na ito papasagutan sa inyo. Uh, just wait for my post on, uh, on the Google Classroom for the activity on this topic. Ayan. So, doon na po nagtatapos yung lesson po natin, which is for today, just for today. And magkikita-kita po ulit tayo by Wednesday. Okay? And for your assignment, okay, you need to study about the domain and the range of the functions. And also, the next topic inside your module, which is the evaluating of function. Okay? So, dalawang topic po yung i-cover ni teacher sa Wednesday. So, you need to prepare yourself uh, by Wednesday. Okay? Before I leave on this meeting, do you have question regarding po dito sa topic po natin? Are you sure, children? Uh, children, wala kayong tanong? Wala po. Okay. So, malinaw naman. So, kung gusto 